Oh, hi. My name is Yemi, as most of you would know. And today, I'm going to be teaching you about the important aspects to consider when buying a used car in Nigeria. So this is a follow-up video to our previous one on how to thoroughly expect a car before making payments. I'll be the first one to inform you that buying a car in Nigeria is an absolute necessity. The hustle and bustle of the everyday Nigerian life is enough to overwhelm the toughest of personalities. But also inspecting one well is also a very big necessity. Some people make the mistake of buying a car by merely looking at the outward appearance. But I'm here to tell you the things that you definitely need to look at before parting with your hard-earned cash. So number one is documentation. In order not to buy a stolen car, the first thing you need to check out is that all the papers of the car are in the right order. So the important documents you need to ask for include the vehicle license, the proof of ownership, the insurance cover, the ECMR, the tint permit, the allocation of plate number, and if available, the custom papers. But to be honest, it is quite rare to find a car that comes complete with all these papers. But the most important, however, is the proof of ownership. And while making payments for this car, you need to ensure the name on the proof of ownership matches the name of the account number you'll be making payments into. Number two is the gear. The gear is also one of the most important aspects you need to consider before buying a used car. Imagine buying a car that doesn't move fast or efficiently enough in a country like Nigeria where everybody seems to be in a hurry. So there are a number of checks you can do to ensure and find out if a gear is in perfect working order. Number one is sitting in the car and switching through with the gear. If the car jumps when you put it in reverse or in drive, it might mean that the gear has had some prior repair work. But not all the time. Sometimes it might just mean that the gear seat or the engine seat needs to be replaced. So another way you can test the gear is by driving the car. And this is by moving the car at a slow pace and steadily increasing the speed. Take note of how effortlessly the gear switches when moving from gear one to gear two, from gear two to gear three. If you feel a delay or a jerk while the gear shifts, it means the gear has a bit of a problem. But also, and rather importantly, it might not mean that you have to completely replace the gear as most mechanics would recommend. Sometimes you might just need to change the gear switches which might have been encountered a problem. So a simple check with your diagnostics machine would show you this. So number three is the engine. A lot of people would argue that the cost of a car is determined by how good the engine is. So before you even start admiring how attractive a car looks, you need to first of all check the engine. You need to check and pay attention to noises coming from the engine, vibrations, misfires, incomplete combustions, leakages, repair history, the starting operation, the pulleys, the belts and hoses, the oil level, the condition and whether or not there is sludge, if it is smoking and more. So you need to also listen carefully to whether you hear a metal clearance sound or a knocking sound. If you hear these sounds, these are huge red flags and you probably should stay away from this car. Number four is body, or should I say first body? So this is one of the most common questions would-be car owners usually ask the car sellers. They want to know if the car is its first body. What the first body implies here is that if this car still has the same paint as it had when it was first manufactured and so it has never been repainted. So you might wonder why first body is so important. The logic here is that aside the fact that first body cars tend to be more attractive than those that have been repainted, it also means that the car has not been involved in any serious accident and thus been repainted. So you can confirm whether or not a car is first body by checking for cracks on the fenders and on the bumpers to see if there's any layer of paint underneath. So another way you can check is by crouching down at one end of the car so that your eye level with the body of the car and then checking to see how smooth the body of the car is. So the body of the car should be straight and smooth and also the reflection on the paint should reflect normally. If you see any distortions or waviness on the body of the car, it tells you that this car has been repainted before. Look at the edges of the doors and body panels to find if there are any nicks, scratches or uneven body paint. Next is mileage. The mileage basically tells you how many miles your car has traveled. And this is a yardstick used by many to determine the condition of a car. However, this determinant is a bit flawed as dishonest car owners are able to roll back the mileage on a car to appear that it has traveled less. All things being equal, it is important to check the mileage of a car before picking payments. For cars with less than 100,000 kilometers, 
it is good. For those between 100,000 kilometers and 200 kilometers, it is not bad as long as the car has been well maintained. For those above 200,000 kilometers, you might want to be a bit cautious. Well, unless the car is a Tokumbo. And we all know that foreigners in foreign countries tend to travel great lengths from point A to point B. But the cars always turn out to be in better condition because of the situation of their roads and the expertise of their mechanics. So you can still go for a Tokumbo car which is above 200,000 kilometers. Next is air conditioning. So the importance of air conditioning cannot be overemphasized, especially if you drive in a country like Nigeria. This is if you hate heat or you dislike being harassed by street hawkers, beggars, touts, and well, other drivers. So we have heard of cost of air conditioning running to as much as one million naira for some certain models of car. And so as trivial as this might seem on the list, it is actually very, very important that you check the condition of the air conditioning before making payments. The AC comprises of the compressor, the condenser, the evaporator, the pipes, as well as the gas. So if your AC is not cooling, it would mean that one of these aforementioned components is having a problem. And you should only hope that it's not the compressor, which usually tends to be the most expensive to replace. So if a car seller tells you that you just simply need to add gas and your AC is going to be working perfectly, you need to be a bit cautious as most times it goes beyond this. So try as much as possible not to fall for that trick. Other important aspects you might want to consider right before making purchase include the brakes, the exhaust, the suspension, the electricals and the accessories of the car. And so there you have it, the important aspects you need to consider right before making a purchase or a car. So if you love this video, we'd like for you to subscribe by clicking on the subscription button below. We'd love for you to also click on that bell so you'll be alerted anytime we post new and insightful content that you would love. Please also follow us on all our social media platforms and visit us on gg.ng. Thank you. Gg.ng. Sell faster. Buy smarter.